Right, so I'm going to start creating some vertex groups, but not before I do my symmetrize. So I'm going to go back to edit mode like this, and I'm going to just shift select the bones that I want to copy over. Right click and symmetrize, and they'll go perfectly across to the other side, and they should have had their label switched to R, which they have. Very helpful. Right. Now it's time to start putting different bits under the bones. So I'm going to turn off X-Ray just because it'll be a little bit easier to see for now. And I'm going to move into the Grease Pencil object and go to Edit Mode like that. The first one I'll do is the head. So I'm just going to click for now to get a hold of the different vertex points that I want. But having all of these on Auto Lock as I go along will make this process harder than it needs to be. So I'm just going to come here and turn that off, Auto Lock Inactive and make sure everything is unlocked. Now I'll select the head and I've got the outline of the vertex points. What else might go under head? I don't think anything else. Everything else has got its own vertex points. So I'm just going to press L to select all of the linked vertex points of that shape and I'm going to close layers and open up vertex groups. Here I'm going to add a vertex group and I'm going to call it head which is the name of the bone that I have here and with these selected in edit mode I'm going to press assign there we go now I'm going to come out of edit mode and into object mode and select the armature I'm going to hold control and press tab and give this bone a click and move it around nothing's happening so if anyone has watched my warm-up on this the um, fundamentals of parenting and armatures you'll understand why that's not working because that explains how parenting and armatures and all the fundamentals of vertex groups work. Now back over here why isn't this moving the whole head? And the answer is because the head doesn't have an armature modifier on it. So if we go to object mode and click on the head as an object and come over to the modifier tab here and here we can add an armature deformer. Now another way of adding that armature deformer is to click on the object that you'd like to bind to your armature that you'd like to parent and then shift click the armature. Then it's control P and it'll say would you like to add an armature deform and if you click that then you'll find when you go back to your modifier menu that an armature modifier has been added for you and the object has actually been selected too. So just to run back over that a second time if you add the modifier like this, you then need to select the object that is the armature like that. Now, when I go into pose mode and move this head around, you'll see that the head follows like that. So we just now need to assign all the other pieces to this. So let's go ahead and do that now. First step is the muzzle. So I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to just click on all the different parts of this mouth. There we go. Oh, that one as well. Let's have a closer look at that, make sure everything's there. Yep. And then press L and just move them around with G. Yeah, everything's there. Good. Now back over here to the data properties and under the vertex groups, I'm going to add another one. Let's call this the muscle because that was what it was called under the rig. There we are, muscle. Okay, muscle. Great. And with that selected, I'll press assign. And this is the last time I'll test this because I don't want to take up the entire video of me grabbing onto different pieces and trying them out. If for any reason you're struggling to see that particular muscle bone because it's hidden underneath, uh, just flick onto the wireframe mode like that and you'll be able to see through. So I can see it there. If I move it around, you can see I'm successfully moving my um, mouth around. Notice that my bottom part of my... Um, tiger ears are also following it. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. So the reason that's happened is because these vertex points appear to have been caught up in the assigning process. So that's a good opportunity to show you how to take things back out again. So if I go to edit mode and just shift click on these two objects here, press L to get all of the linked vertex points, I can come over here to muscle in this case and I can click remove. That will take all of these points out of that vertex group, which then means that when I'm back here in pose mode, I can grab onto the muscle, which is actually under there, but we'll just take it as a parent, move it around, and you can see that's now being left behind. 
I'll just uh, clarify that by grabbing the muscle itself. There we go. Right. So I'm going to go through step by step now and just add the right pieces into the right places. So we'll start here and I'm just going to do these quickly rather than going back and forth, back and forth. So I know that this goes under the pupil dot L assigned. I know that these go under the pupil dot R assigned. Uh, I know that these will go under the I know that these ears will go under the ears so I'll just get all of those go over here type in ear dot I'll just do ear dot L for now well no I won't I'll so I'll add I'll add ear dot L and I'll assign all of these points to that and then I'll come down here and add ear dot L dot zero zero one so that I have this extra piece as well but I won't assign anything to it I'll just have it there in the groups right I'll now grab the I and I'll add the I dot L controller I dot L and I'll assign these points to that there we go so that's the ear done the head done the muscle done the pupil done and the eye done I haven't done the stripes, so I think I'll do those next. I'll just have to backtrack a little bit to add the bones for those. So I'm going to come down here to the menu, find stripes, which are hopefully on here somewhere. Stripes. Select all those points. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm actually going to add the vertex group first this time. And um, we'll just call it stripes and assign. Now I'm going to go back to the armature, and I think I'll I'm just going to clumsily put the stripe control there with shift A. As long as I put my 3D cursor there, that's where this will appear. And then I'm just going to move that there and make it a little bit smaller. And I'll just go in here and I'll call this stripes. Now that should have connected everything together there. I made the vertex group first and then I created the bone that I was referring to second. However, doesn't make any difference. It'll still follow along as you'd hope. Right, so that's all of my vertex groups created. And what I really could do with is having copies of these for the other side. So with a lot of traditional rigging using 3D objects, you can mirror things. And certainly in the vertex groups for 3D objects, you can use you can make use of mirror vertex group, mirror vertex group topology and things like that, copy vertex group, etc, etc, just to flip a vertex group over. Now because grease pencil objects are not made up in the same way as mesh objects, that's just not possible. It's something we're going to work on trying to make a, an add-on for that will enable that kind of function to be possible, but at the moment it's not. So instead, you just have to do these things manually. So I'm going to whiz through and do that now.